Here's place golf, man. I'm at a golf course right now. I don't play golf, but man, this golf course is beautiful. So I'm here in San Diego at a CG, at a mastermind, and I wanna share with you some of the takeaway that I learned today from the mastermind, and hopefully this will add some value to your life and to your business. Check it out. So eight years ago is when I first started in this business. I never could ever imagine that one day I'll be able to obviously make money wherever I go because um, now we're doing it all virtually, right? So as long as there's internet, there's Wi-Fi, man, I'm ready to rock and roll. We got out the whole the fix and flip game. I'm out of the whole fix and flip game. Dude, that was a nightmare for me. Not saying that it's for everybody, but for me, it just didn't work. And um, dude, I wreck anybody that is starting in this business, listen to me. I do not suggest that you go into the whole fix and flip game, man. If you want to create another job, go ahead and do it. But if you want to, if you want to have the, uh, the, the, the time freedom, right? And starting with very little capitals to no cost at all, man, very easy, I'm, I should, easier to scale versus the fix and flip. I'm telling you, man, stay focused on, ver on wholesaling. Regardless of what people tell you about the fix and flip, regardless of everything that you watch on HGTV, I'm telling you, man, it's not what you think it is, man. Right? Wholesaling is not sexy at all. at all. What I'm doing is not sexy. It's pretty boring. I get on the phone with the seller, talk to the seller, lock the property on the contract, and we send that contract out, right? We start marketing, find the buyer, lock the property up, right? Lock it up with the buyer over the phone. Like everything is, can be done virtual. So there's nothing sexy about what I'm doing, but I'm telling you, man, to give you the time freedom to do what you want to do and what you love to do, okay? And so I'm at a mastermind, um, right? We're we going to be here. So the wife and I are going to be here for about a week in San Diego. And what I've learned today that I'm going to share with you is that sometime bigger is not always better. Right, you hear people like making huge numbers, five million a year, 10 million a year, or a million a year. Now listen, not everyone needs to make a million a year. Not everybody wants to be a millionaire. I understand that, all right? But there are some of you have big goals and big dreams and big ambitions and all that, right? You know, some of you might, 5,000 a month, an extra 10,000 a month, right? We're able able to, to get you to quit your J-O-B, okay? But I'm telling you here, it's not always bigger is better. Okay, so what you wanna do is you actually want to focus on the net, not the gross, not the revenue, man, but the net amount. I got distracted, right? I got distracted uh, four to five years ago. I got so distracted because I was like, I was listening to people doing big numbers, you know, I'm running a $5 million, $10 million company, etc. And I said, yeah, you know, I wanna be that guy too, you know? And um, guess what, man? I, 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 got, I caught myself up into just going for the bigger number, going for the bigger numbers, right? I'm trying to scale so fast, so quick. I lose focus on the, I lose focus on the profit, which is the most important, right? It doesn't matter how much you make, man, right? It doesn't matter the, it doesn't matter the gross, right? The revenue is nothing. It's how much you profit from it, right? And uh, just being here, man, just being here at the mastermind, I'm hearing people sharing their stories and other people's stories that that there's this guy that runs a $30 million company, right? A $30 million fix and flip company. And, um, and, and, and the guy asked him, so what is your overhead? Well, he said 20 million of that goes to, um, you know, going to subcontractor and general contractor. And then the other seven millions is in materials, materials and all the expenses for all the office space. So he really profit three million dollars. $3 now, I'm not, I'm not saying three million dollars is nothing. Dude, that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. But dude, do you see what I'm saying? A $30 million company and only generates three million dollars in profit, right? So a lot of times it's not always you. You think, oh, people are doing 30 million. Oh, it's a 30 million dollar business. That's how much they're making a year. It's not true. It's not like that at all, okay? Big numbers doesn't mean anything. So what you want, you talk to people. Hey, t dude, dude, give me the net. Give me the net. Net number is what you want to focus on, all right? So what I learned here, um, just the first day of the masterminding, it's not about bigger, it's better. It's about making sure that your business is profitable and then you want to make sure that you know as, as an entrepreneur we have multiple businesses and you want to make sure that each business have its own separate account own bank account right expenses and and everything like that so that's way they're not overlapping so a lot of times what you think is oh one company is making money 
right? Or both companies making money, but in reality, it's not true. One is making money that, that helps out. Oh. You guys see that? It's pretty loud. But anyways, you know, sometimes not two of them are profitable. One of them is making money and it's feeding the other one. But if you don't separate them, guess what happened? You won't know which one is making profit. How much profit is it making, right? So, so what the what it is is the guy said that you got to make sure each one of them have separate accounts, right? For all their expense, like everything has to be separate. It cannot be together, and that's how you make sure that you can keep your eyes on the money, keep your eyes on the profit, right? And also too is uh, is is it, it's cutting down expenses where it's not necessary, cutting down, um, you know, cutting down overhead costs and all of that, making sure that it's profitable, man. That is the key, right? So don't get caught up in all the hype. Don't get caught up in all the hype where you're like, yeah, man, I'm doing, I'm only doing a hundred thousand, you know, I'm only doing six figure. And someone is saying, hey, they're running a seven figure or five million a year. And you're looking, you're, you look at yourself, you're like, hey, I only do a hundred thousand a year or 200,000 a year. And you'll be like, yeah, man, I, I wish, dude, it's not. Sometimes you don't see what's behind the curtain. And when you're able to see what's behind the curtain, right, you, you, you will understand. But it's, a lot of times, it's, it is not what you think it is, okay? So don't be full, don't get caught up in the hype. Focus on you, focus on your game, focus on the lifestyle that you wanna build around your business. There's some guys and gal here that makes a boatload of money, but they work all the time. So they're here to basically to mastermind and get helps from other people and say, hey, how can I, how can I work less and still maintain what I make or I'm okay with making a little bit less, but I, I'm able to have more free time. To so what I gotta tell you is focus on your own game. Focus on the lifestyle that you want to create for yourself and build your business around it and keep your eyes on the profit. Not go big, but keep your eyes on the bottom line. All right, so I hope that this video adds some value to your life today. If it does, show me some love, smash the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Welcome to the Wholesale to Million family where we are the massive action taker, the doer, not the talker, and make sure you turn on the bell notification. Take care and I'll see you next time. Ciao.